Hello, Positive Moms. I am so happy that today we're talking about something so essential and so important as unintended pregnancies. And one of the things that uh, I'm passionate about is bringing awareness to the fact that there's an impact that, that is disproportionate between women aged 18 to 24 women of color and women from low economic backgrounds. And to talk about that today, we have the amazing Dr. Erica Montes, and she is a board certified obstetrician and gynecologist, a fellow of the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists. And she received her medical degree from the University of Texas health science center in san antonio so hello texas <laughs> you know that i'm here yes. <laughs> hi dr erica thank you so much for being here thank you so much for having me and for having the opportunity opportunity to speak to your audience Oh, absolutely. I am so excited because I know that you completed your residency in the University of Texas South, South with Western Medical Center's Parkland Hospital, and there you were elected as one of three chief residents of the largest programs in the nation. So we are here with a true expert. She graduated with <laughs> honors from the University of Texas at Austin with a degree in biology. So we are getting real accurate and also trustworthy information from Dr. Erica Montes. So, um, so, so happy that you could do this. And let's get started because this is a very important topic yeah. that that all of our moms need to know about. So um, how do you think unplanned pregnancy can affect women? Yeah, you know, I think that's a great question to start out with. Unfortunately, it can lead to mental and physical health risks, and it can also lower the potential that women can achieve in their education and in the workforce. But Thankfully, over the last several decades, women have made great strides in their education, especially Latinas. Uh, we see that they are their ed college enrollment has increased by 15 percent in the last decade. And so women nowadays really want to be able to have control of their future and be able to plan their their family out. Absolutely. Well, but for some women, limited access to this information and tools and resources um, and contraception can make it really hard for them to be in control of their reproductive health. So tell us a little bit about how can a woman access contraceptive counseling? Yes, sure. So as a as a mom of three, I've had to have these conversations with my own doctor. And of course, I have these conversations every day with, with my own patients. I think it's important to find a physician or a women's health care provider who you feel comfortable with. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a, I usually sometimes recommend patients to ask family members, even, you know, in, in general, just to see who they recommend. And overall, I think it's important for women to be able to have their questions ready, make sure that they ask about misconceptions because that's out mm -hmm. there everywhere, especially on social media, and yeah. then ultimately be able to kind of help let your physician help you decide what the best method is for you. And that's why working with this women's health company, Organon, working on this great program in order to provide that information about different birth control options and how to have that conversation with your physician is, is something that I'm very proud of and be, very happy to be uh, a, a part of. I love that. And I love that you mentioned feeling comfortable because I, I have had that experience in which sometimes mm -hmm. there's not that chemistry uh, or or you don't feel comfortable with somebody. And, you know, that's not to say they are not great. They are just not the right fit for you. So I really love that you brought that up. And, and speaking on what's best for you, you know, what are some contraception methods and how 
do you approach it to let someone know what the best option or fit for them is? Yeah, thank you. So, of course, there's the more commonly known options, which are the short acting, which include a pill, a vaginal ring, a patch, and also the injection. And then there's the LARCs or the long acting reversible contraceptive methods, such as the intrauterine device or more commonly, commonly known as IUD, and also <laughs> the implant. And finally, the more permanent option is usually the tubal ligation. I think yeah. it's important for women to take in uh, take into account a lot of factors such as what their daily lifestyle is like, what their past medical history includes, make sure you understand the risks with each option, and mm -hmm. just kind of have an idea as to what you're looking for out of a birth control option method. Yeah. I like that. I like that because, you know, it, it, as moms, I'm a mom of four, so I definitely can relate to to looking for what's best. Um, and with that, you mentioned misconceptions when you were talking about, you know, being informed. And yes, we see them on social media. And sometimes we are alarmed, like, oh my goodness, that sounds interesting, or mm -hmm. that's something that's worrisome. So where can we find accurate uh, information? You are an expert, and, and obviously this uh, whole interview is something that they can look at. So I want to make sure that we point our moms to the right channels where they can actually find information that they can trust. Yes, thank you for bringing that up. You know, I encourage women to proactively speak to their physician. And again, like you mentioned, make sure you go to those websites that have real and good expert information that you can trust. So one website that I want to share with you and your moms is what's next for her.com. So please visit that just to learn a little bit more about different options and how to have that conversation. Wonderful. And, and I saw that that there's a little bilingualism in that on that website. So um, I love that it's geared to women of color. And, um, you know, that's something that it, uh, it's alarming to me that disproportionate access to to tools and, and resources and information. And um, I, I want you to kind of speak to that. Um, how do we feel more comfortable uh, as women of color um, in accessing this information besides going obviously to what's next for her.com. Yeah, I think it's important overall to be able to speak to a physician that speaks your language, understands your culture. That also definitely plays a role in helping you feel more comfortable. But again, like, like I mentioned before, I encourage women to definitely take all your questions to your physician and Birth control is a personal choice. It's a personal decision. And I think overall, when you find that provider and you're able to get all your questions answered, you'll make the best decision for yourself. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all your time. I love it. Thank you for being here. And to all my mommies out there, go to westnextforher.com and follow Dr. Erica Montes. She's an expert in this subject. And I really loved uh, talking about this. And there's more on my website too, thepositivemom.com. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you.